Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Far Cry 5. If you enjoy this video, please become a barista at Starbucks, but instead of writing people's names on their takeaway coffees, write Modest Pelican and scream it loudly, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Welcome to America, and more specifically the state of Montana, a beautiful place to live if you ignore the fact a psychotic cult is brutally murdering everyone. Still, pretty breathtaking views. Their leader is Joseph Steed, and as you can see, he's quite an aggressive guy. That being said, I probably would have gone to church a lot more as a kid if there was less singing and more eye gouging. Joseph is such a Scorpio. We've been sent in by the government to arrest him because it's apparently illegal to kidnap and murder everyone. He's pretty compliant, which is a big surprise, but as we try and extract him in our helicopter, his boys take it down and we crash. The power of Minecraft's dance. He then makes overly intense eye contact like he wants a little smooth so I proceed to flee the scene. Not a great situation, and to make matters worse, the cult assumed that us trying to arrest Joseph was the beginning of their prophecy. In a nutshell, they've started what's known as the reaping, where they will now purge all non-believers. More killing, more torture, more fun for the whole family. Fortunately, I find a baseball bat and then spot two malakas staying warm by the fire. I proceed to take them down, and I'm thrilled with how satisfying this is. I did, however, assume they were part of the cult, they could have just been camping. This is a bad area to be in, and I'd know I used to live in a dangerous neighborhood. There were 35 sex offenders living there, and so I moved away quickly as I didn't need that kind of competition. I escape and meet this bald guy who tells me that there's no way to leave Montana. It's literally me in 10 years. I now get to create my character, and I decide to make him a ladies' man. Women love two things in this world. Thick, healthy mullets, and of course, the new Modest Pelican merch. We didn't expect so many sales last week, and I'm really sorry if you missed out, but you can now buy all merch and sizes again for a few more days. It's good to go, and the link is in the description, and thank you so much for the overwhelming support. Now let's go stop murderous radicals by murdering them. I shoot the water to test the graphics because everyone knows that's how you test graphics. I'm basically a game developer. You can also play the entire game in co-op, so I ask my good friend Aix if she wants to join. She's up for it, but before the session, she leveled up a bunch to flex on me. I'm running around like a caveman and she's got a fancy sniper rifle and wingsuit. We find a boat and cross the river to discover John Seed's region who's a high-ranking member of the cult. Also a couple having a romantic bath together, which is quite cute. We proceed to kill everyone, and in the process, I accidentally the prisoner. Uh, are you gonna help him? I don't wanna help him, that's kinda weird. Oh, oh my I god, I, you killed I I kicked him in the jaw. <laughs> They've got like a DUI church here, that's nice. Yeah, it's kinda cute. It is kinda cute, I'm, I'm kinda on their side. We forge forward as our target is now clear. Escape Montana. First I turn on friendly fire so we can become more immersed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm I topped out, I topped <laughs> I'm burning so much. Oh my god, you look haggard now. Right. Too. That's so freaking rude. <laughs> we then find a plane, and suddenly we're saved. We can just fly this back to Washington DC and tell the president that Montana has become a sovereign state and the army can come in and deal with everything. Just kidding, I decide to kamikaze it because leaving two MIA junior deputy sheriffs with wingsuits and baseball bats to deal with it is a far better strategy. Aix and I locate a trailer park where we should be able to find a new vehicle and some loot. The cult's reaping is well and truly underway and these guys are impressively efficient. We kill the members and as I'm freeing hostages, I see him. Joe Dirt. This man with his thick mullet is going to be my best friend forever. Joe says we need to find his friend who has a plane so that we can escape. Glossing over the fact that we just had a plane, we move out. It doesn't seem safe walking through the forest on foot as we're just little snacks to grizzly bears which is flattering but not safe. We kill a bunch of guys patrolling and as an Australian it's hard to tell what level of violence is due to the cult and what is just normal Montana life. I find a flamethrower while Aix fixes the truck. Look at us, destroying gender stereotypes, this channel really pushes the envelope. Soon Aix will be driving the vehicles. I'm kidding, can you imagine? What do you think happened here, Aix? Looks like a bit of a crime scene. You know, probably just themselves. a clearance sale, like a discount sale, you know? Yeah, yeah. Make it a little hectic, maybe like Black Friday. Yeah, it looks like Black Friday, like for the apples, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the flamethrower gives me way too much confidence and I just charge on in there, burning absolutely everything. This causes a slow and likely very painful death for me and my glorious mullet. We need to find this plane and we figure heading to the next main town is our best option so we can gather information about its whereabouts. We are immediately distracted and successfully take down a supply truck. Whoa, that's a lot of fucking ammunition. <laughs> I'm stuck. Are you actually stuck? <laughs> Help me, step bro. I'm stuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't remember the part in the porno where they have to kill a bunch of dudes. Oh, you're out? Uh, yeah. God damn it, I missed my chance. Ax needs to go and take care of something in real life, and so I decide to explore a little. I come across this last hunting and buy a new hat off her because sun safety is absolutely crucial. I then burn her alive because I feel she overcharged me and I'm really trying to embrace the Montana culture as that's important when visiting a new place. Respect, embrace, imitate. I agree, it is about the journey. You know, just making memories and having fun. Oh my god. Was that the wrong guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, this is badass. You see one guy, watch this. Go Foxtrot. Nice, good kill. We've been made, we've been made, we've been made. After potentially the best covert operation since Project Ice Worm, we liberate Falls End. That's a real project. During the Cold War, the Americans built missile bases in Greenland without telling Denmark what they were up to. Cheeky malakas. We then meet this preacher called Jerome who wants to be my BFF, but my mullet brother Joe Dirt is still my number one. To anal. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Hey, I actually wanted to use the bow, so thank you. I think you just turned this town against us. And did we just help them build that whole place? Then we turned it to their enemy in like five seconds. The good news is, Jerome told us where the plane is being kept, and so we make our way towards the airfield. Aix never misses an opportunity to flex her wingsuit on me, which is hurtful, but undeniably graceful. We're about 200 meters out, and then out of nowhere, stumble across a hunter who looks an awful lot like the other hunter I burned alive earlier. Most likely identical twins, and definitely not repeating character models, I'm still immersed. We buy some fishing rods off her, and proceed to have the most intense fishing experience of 2021. I know people are being forcefully baptized and stoned to death, but I'm craving a salmon fillet. As it turns out, ankle deep swamp water is not the optimum place to catch salmon. We approach the airfield, me armed with actual weapons, and Ake's holding a fishing rod. I love how much the Far Cry franchise wants there to be constant explosions. This suits me as I love exploding things ever since I was a kid. My mates and I once taped about 25 soda stream carbon dioxide cylinders together, along with about 500 sparklers. The explosion was so surprisingly big, we had ringing in our ears for days and got completely covered in dirt. Everyone came out of their homes and the police were called, and we had to hide in the drains for hours, and that's my Vietnam experience. Experience. We finally locate the guy who owns the plane, and he's clearly weak as he doesn't have a mullet. Not the kind of guy I usually enjoy doing business with, but he tells us his plane has been stolen. We reluctantly agree to help the big girl. Aix then proceeds to beat him to death. Let's get okay. his plane back. Oh my god, wait, what What's the fuck? What's going on here? Oh my god, they had like literal target practice. Oh, that is, it's pretty dark that they're shooting an actual person, but it's like very... It's like it prepares you for the real thing, right? Yeah, true. We arrive at the estate and start murdering everyone. I know they're cult savages, but this cabin is truly delightful. A home away from home up in the Pine Forest Hills. They might tie people to stakes and use them for target practice, but hot damn do they know how to unwind afterwards. We locate the seaplane and Aix insists on flying. This is quite the power play as she has all the fun while I proceed to look at the back of her head as her ponytail flails in the wind. I'm obviously the kind of guy who claps when the plane lands, but not this time as the landing caused all my vertebrae to shatter. He's pretty happy to have his plane back, but we've barely celebrated before another wave of cult members arrives. They're not too happy with him trying to escape, so we defend his property while he does stunts in the air. I mean, objectively, it's impressive flying, but I feel his social obligation should have been to stay on the ground and help. He tells his heavily pregnant wife that they're leaving, and she's like, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, this is our home, we're going to stay. I don't feel like this is the best place to raise a child, and we did just kill like 50 people getting the plane back so you slash we could all escape, but no, let's put the kettle on. A mission complete, but we've now been marked as a threat to the cult. This basically means truckload after truckload of radicals will attack us until eventually my character loses consciousness. When I wake up, I'm being forcefully baptized by none other than John Seed, one of the guys I needed to find. He's pretty keen on the idea of killing me, but then his brother from the introduction tutorial rocks up and he's like, nah, don't be a dick, bro. I think I have a crush on this guy. Is that bad? Does that say something about my character? Um, I think it's called uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Okay. <laughs> Fall in love with your captor. <laughs> what about a porn addiction? Come on, who doesn't? He's not addicted to porn. Yeah, but you are. I'm not addicted to porn. I just watch like a few hours a day. <laughs> 
As we are being transported away, our truck is T-boned and we are rescued by none other than big man Jerome. He seems to have forgotten that Aix beat one of his comrades to death with a baseball bat earlier, which is great news. We've now got to shoot our way out of this absolute mess. It's such an epic gamer moment and then Aix says she has to go to bed because time zones. What's up everybody, this is Aix and um, I just want to say before I... All right, you guys should buy Pelly's merch. Wow, what a, <laughs> what a strange thing to say, just unprovoked. <laughs> With Aix abandoning me, just like my father did, I'm forced to fight the endless waves of cult members by myself. But then, like an angel descending from the heavens, my brother appears and takes a bullet for me. It's the man himself, Joe Dirt. We fight together, we bond together, and eventually a helicopter rolls in to evacuate us from the area. As we fly off in a helicopter, his mullet flails in the wind. If I'm being honest, it flails just a little bit more majestically than Aik's ponytail did. I ask the pilot to get us out of Montana so that we can contact my colleagues and finally tell them about the truly horrific war crimes that are being committed within the United States borders. I'm kidding, that's a dumb idea. Instead, we land immediately and recruit a bunch of country folk so that we can fight these lunatics outnumbered 50 to 1. The American way, the mullet way, the pelican way. I don't know why I'm trying trying to leave this video on an inspirational note, but this game is fun as hell and I can't believe I never played it before. And thanks for watching, you absolute legends. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.